Welcome to 1.7's Math Moment. Today's students took what they know about unit rates and constant rates and applied it to finding constant speed, not only in a rate table, but then also showing it in a graph. So here we have in our rate table seconds and yards. When I look and I look at one second, I do not know how many yards that is. So I do not know my unit rate. So I have to look down the table and find where there is a connection between seconds and yards in order to find my rate. I look down and I see that there's nothing connected with two, but three and six are connected together. So I know that in three seconds, I'm able to travel six yards. So I need to think about what the connection is there. Okay, I know that six is getting bigger, so I'm going to use multiplication. Three, six. I'm taking three times two to get six. Because that's the only connection I have, I know that it must apply to the rest of the table. So two times two will give me four, and one times two will give me two. Now I know, I can see probably by a pattern, it's going two, four, six, eight on the yard side, and on my seconds, it goes one, two, three, and then it should be four. Now I wanna check and make sure that that's correct by using my math. Four times two does equal eight, so I know that I filled out my table correctly. Now what I wanna do is take the information from the rate table and apply it to a graph. So here I have time going across my x-axis and distance going up my y-axis. So I'm going to take one and two. I'm gonna go over one and up two. Then I'm going to go over two and up four over three, one, two, one, two, three, and up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the last one, over four, one, two, three, four, and up eight. When I do this, and I could label my points, when I do this, I'm able to see and connect a line. I could also connect and make unit rate triangles if I wanted to see the connection that these numbers have. Over one, up two. Over one, up two. Bigger by one, bigger by two. Bigger by one, bigger by two. So this is how you complete a constant rate table to show constant speed and unit rates and also showing that same information in a graph. If you have questions about 1.7, make sure to see your math teacher.